Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. This is a read for Taurus. I first want to apologize to you guys for not getting weeklies done last week. Um, it's, I've been doing this for about a year. It's the first week I've actually fully missed, so I apologize for the all signs. So what I'm doing today is a little different. This is going to be a timeless read. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're gonna get five cards in love, a couple of message and oracle cards, and then I'm gonna do Aries to Pisces if you're dealing with, uh, so uh, within whatever. <laughs> um, these are general reads, guys, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you feel like it's not to read, check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unclear to what your moon and your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below that'll get you that info. There's also a link in the description box below that will give you my personal information if you're interested in a personal read, so. Thanks for coming. Thanks for understanding, guys. I'll really try hard not to miss a week, but one out of 52 weeks isn't too bad, right? Right? All right. Taurus. 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 What's coming towards Taurus is in love. We have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Star card. Nice. And the Ace of Wands. Bum, 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 bum. Um, that's the magic sticking me down. <laughs> On um, bottom of the deck, guys, we do have the um, heartbreak, sadness, grief, and loss. So I kind of feel like uh, you might be kind of in a position where you're grieving a situation, but you have some great new things coming towards you in love. Even underneath that, we have the Page of Cups, so that's the love offer, uh, along with the King of Cups. So that's some nice cards underneath that. But I feel like, Taurus, is you're potentially dealing with a situation that's making you kind of sad. However... Look what you have. You have a new start with clarity and a new start with passion. And this passion is like on fire. This person has a lot of passion and chemistry. This person wants to show you how you make them feel. And this person is very clear in their mind on what they want from you. I don't think it's just a romp in the bedroom either, guys, because um, who says that? <laughs> a romp in the bedroom um because we have pentacles here we also have the star card here so i feel like they really feel like you are their wish fulfillment or this is going to be someone who is your wish fulfillment um could be an aquarius too but doesn't have to be i'm trying really hard not to throw out so many signs because i think we're going to go through aries to pisces anyway so um but this is going to be someone that's coming in very passionate um, probably lots of fun to be around, good energy, good times, good vibes. They might be messaging you, um, bringing you some good news, um, but it's going to be a slow and steady connection. Um, I feel like it's going to start off extremely passionate, uh, and you're going to kind of get the sense that this is what this person is seeking, but ultimately this is a wish fulfillment, and this is a long-term, stable, committed, loyal energy. But it's a slow pace. So I feel like this person is going to come in pretty hot. Like I got that song coming in hot in my head. Um, I feel like they're going to come in extremely passionate, extremely direct about what they want. Um, and then I feel like um, they do have this long-term commitment kind of energy. But they're not necessarily going to throw that down right away to tell you something. They're kind of going to move slower when it comes to progressing to a, a solid commitment. All right, so we have the Love and Romance Journey Oracles from Queen Sugar Tarot. Let's see what pops out for you, Tauruses. Growth. Yeah. Tired and standing. And longing. Yeah, so I feel like, um, guys, you are probably tired and standing currently, right, with this Three of Swords energy here. I feel like you are probably like cursing love at the moment and thinking yeah right whatever but this person is is definitely going to be longing for you i think you're going to be longing for them too i feel like it's going to be mutual and extremely passionate um but i do think it will grow into a much more stable committed relationship but i feel like it's just going to take a minute um i've been using the hidden truth oracle so take these as they apply because i feel like this could be somebody new for you and maybe not someone that's hiding the truth, so take them as they apply. So it says, I love you unconditionally, and I don't react when people mention you. So if this is someone you do know, they're kind of uh, they're kind of being stonewalled about if they hear you. They're not reacting. They're kind of keeping that um, passion and chemistry that they feel for you to themselves. They're not really sharing all their business. All right, guys. Oh. So let's get into it if you're dealing with a, um, so we're going to go all the way from Aries to Taurus. 
I mean, Aries to Pisces. Sorry, Taurus. <laughs> These are for Tauruses. So Tauruses, if you're dealing with an Aries, we have the Chariot. And I told myself I was going to show you guys these cards. And the Fool card. So this person's ready to take a leap. This person has made a choice. This person's going to be coming direct towards you. I also get that with that Ace of Swords energy too. They're not going to mince their words. They're going to show you how they feel about you. And you are going to know it. <laughs> it's going to resonate through you. But I feel like you're really just going to think it's all passion. And it's not. There's commitment there. There's loyalty there too. All right. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, if you're dealing with a Taurus. Let's see what we got. I don't know if I said these are timeless reads or not, but they're timeless. Um, we have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like someone here, Taurus, is if you're dealing with a Taurus, someone is leaving something behind to come to you. They're going to be coming in with this Knight of Wands. This is this passionate energy. This is definitely um, good vibes, good times, great fun, lots of passion, lots of chemistry. Um, this is someone that's walking away from a situation to come towards you. Uh, they're leaving something behind to come towards you to tell you how they feel. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Two of Cups, Soulmate, True Love, and Judgment. Yeah, I feel like this is a potential return, guys, if you're dealing with a Gemini. Um, could be one of two things. It could be a return, a reconciliation for a soulmate energy, true love. But it could also be um, they have really reevaluated their situation. They know what they want. They know what they need to do to get it. And they're willing to come back and get it. But they are showing up as a true love, soulmate, soulmate, uh, true love, marriage kind of vibe. All right. If you're dealing with a cancer. If you're dealing with a cancer. The star card. Okay, so there's that star card that's in the first five too as well. So wish fulfillment. Someone that's it's hopeful, but they also re know that this is going to require some patience. So they see you. If you're dealing with a cancer, they see you as their wish fulfillment. Um, but they're going to come in slow. You're going to need patience for that. They're not going to come in and say, um, I love you, let's get married. They're going to come in and they're going to show you how much they feel about you. And, and how passionate they feel about you, but there's not going to be a lot of talk about um, settling down right away. If you're dealing with a Leo, we have a Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there could be a need to travel. Um, could be long-term, or not long-term, it could be um, far away, but it could be close. Some kind of travel. I feel like this person is waiting for things to kind of line up and for their ships to come in, but they're coming in as the Ten of Pentacles. This is true love marriage, commitment, loyalty, financially stable, emotionally stable. This is a blended family. This is a house. This is a love. This is a marriage. This is a solid commitment. But again, they're waiting for things to kind of line up or things to get um, built in order for what they want. Well, that's a lot of cups. I mean, that's a lot of cards. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this is interesting. We have the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Cups. If you're dealing with the Virgo, I kind of feel like um, this might be a potential reunion with somebody that things might have ended because of a third-party situation. The Three of Cups doesn't always make me feel that way, but with the Ten of Cups being here, I feel like this could have been a past situation where... Um, the the relationship ended due to a third party situation but i do feel like they're wanting to come back around they're wanting to work with you they're wanting to be a partner and build with you with this three of pentacles they want to um be a teammate be a team player the six of cups they feel nostalgic energy they feel like you guys are soul connected they want to kind of bring back all those good memories that you guys had prior to that ending <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, if we're going to, or if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like these are Libras. Ace of Wands, there's that magic stick. And the Hierophant, not only does this person want to show you how much passion they have for you, they want to marry your behind too. <laughs> they want that traditional relationship. They want to marry you. They want um, that higher level commitment. And they want to show you their passion. Male or female is relevant. Oh, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, we have the Four of Wands and the Five of Wands. I feel like this could be a twin flame journey, guys. Um, this could be uh, one that has been conflict 
one that has been full of conflict and problems, one that has not been a smooth sail, one that has been full of arguments potentially, but this person is showing up as a twin flame, this person is showing up as stability for you, this person is showing up feeling like home. I feel like if you are on the twin flame journey though, you might not necessarily, you're kind of in the mix, the mix of it, right? Where there's a lot of kind of conflict, but I feel like it's going to be shifting um, with the five cards that you got from just kind of this passionate, uh, light, um, and light engagement with one another. And then it's going to go to a full blown relationship. Uh, all right. Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I'm not picking that one up off the floor cause I wasn't asking yet. We have the devil and the magician. This person is manifesting you this person is using all the things they have in them to pull you back to them to bring you to them this person has obsessive thoughts about you this person is wanting you this person is thinking about you constantly this person is willing you back into their life i think it's not necessarily a bad thing i think that's all that passion i think that's all that explosive passion and chemistry if you're dealing with a capricorn guys Oh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. All right, so this person is waiting for karma to kind of fall in place. They're coming in as your counterpart. They're coming in as your um, soulmate, your divine feminine. They're coming in hot, coming in hot, hot. They're not coming in hot. That's just the song that was in my head from... I don't even know if it was this read or the last read already, but they're definitely coming in with a very strong connection to you. This Capricorn is showing up as the Empress. They want to multiply. They want to be with you. They want to be abundant and share their abundance with you. Um, and they are just waiting for that shift to happen. Uh, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, we got the Four of Cups that came in in reverse and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like um, this could be a person that felt like previously this was a missed opportunity, but it is, it is no longer. They want to come in and show you um, this Ten of Cups love that they have for you. They have all this love, all this emotion. They want the happily ever after with you. They want the rainbows, the gumdrops, the lollipops, and sunshine. They want it all. They want a house. They want a ho um, kids. They want a dog. Um, tons and tons and tons of love um, and they're no longer viewing you as a missed opportunity so maybe in the past you were one all right guys Taurus if you're dealing with a Pisces let's see what we have for Pisces the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess so again this person has mad love for you um, but they're not sharing it with you directly they are kind of keeping it to themselves they are tapping into their spirituality they are figuring out what they want but with this Knight of Cups, they want to give you a love offer. I could see them asking you to go meet up for a coffee. Something that could be romantic, but could also be very platonic um, because they're not going to be uh, expressing all the love that they do have with this High Priestess. They're going to kind of keep it to themselves. I do feel like they think you're, they're being spiritually guided towards you. Um, all right, Tauruses. So that concludes your read. Thank you so much. If you guys feel inclined to do so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If not, that's okay too. Um, I appreciate your support. Thanks so much, guys. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.